Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hayes Long, I'm an artist and speed painter from Malaysia. So you've probably seen this kind of artist studio shoot in Instagram and they are very very popular kind of photography and content for Instagram. This kind of content has been doing very well on my Instagram channel and today I would just like to show you guys how I style the photo shoot and how I plan the whole thing. So let's get started and then I'll see you right after the jump. So we are here in my friend's Gujeng Academy with which friend? What is a Gujeng? Her name is Sarah and I perform with her during my speed painting performances. She performs on a Gujeng which is a Chinese musical instrument. So we are at her academy today because I've been shooting the photo shoots at my home and it's been pretty repetitive so I wanted to do something different and this is a perfect spot for the photo. We actually packed all the props in our car and drove all the way here and now we are unpacking all the props for the photo styling. This place is very earthy and has a lot of greens and browns so I'm complementing the photo with a lot of wood as well from the props and also I brought my own plant. Now that everything is here, I can try to arrange the setup for the photo shoot. I'm using a lot of real life props that I actually use when I'm painting so that the scene is a lot more realistic and believable. Once most of the props are in, it is time to set up the camera and see how it looks like in the camera. I can decide if I want to show more of like gray or the green. It's quite tough. You need more to show. Two, one. I think this is what I see. It's creating like a demand and painting, right? So I still look crazy. It's very important for the painting to have an even lighting. The face is brighter now and we are trying to adjust it to be even, just like so, and this is perfect. Now it's time for me to get changed and do some modeling and get the photo shoot done. I always walk back to the camera after a few shots to check how I want the mood to be like and then after that I will do the real modeling. After trying a few rounds of dry run, now comes the real part which is turning on the fan and trying to get some movement in the garment and then posing with this setup. For the posing, I try to keep them as natural as possible because I am not trying to show that I am a model, I am trying to show that I am an artist at work, so there is a huge difference there. 
All the materials, tools and equipment that you use for your art project can be used during the photo shoot as it lends a sense of believability to the scene. So actually the oil palette that I used are already dried from another project that I just keep for this purpose. Even if you're not a model, you can just pretend to be looking for things, painting, fixing the painting and also just walking around and interacting with the environment. We actually forgot to remove the leather and it's in the photo but I can just crop them out or use one of the old photos to replace them later because I usually tend to shoot for one angle only. I do not shoot multiple angles in my photo shoot. So it's not difficult to have a good photo shoot. It just takes some time and planning. You gotta invest in some of the props and also the apparel itself if you really want it to look good. So at the end of the day, we are just unpacking and trying to bring everything back home. And then after this, I'll show you how I edit my photos. I like to use Photoshop when it comes to editing my photos and the first thing that I'm doing is bringing up the actions window. We are going to create an action that we can apply to all the photos. I'm going to call this action Mona Lisa and then I'm just going to hit the record button. Usually the first thing that I'll do is adjust the curves to give it a brighter look. I also like to have some brightness in my shadows. Then I also adjust the color balance to try and fix some colors. This time I want the greens to pop out more so I'm trying to make it colder. Next I'm going to use the hue saturation tool to adjust the color a bit more. I usually use this tool to adjust the saturation because after using the curve tool, the colors can get a bit too strong so I'm trying to neutralize it. Once it's done, I stop recording and then I open a bunch of files to test the actions and see if it works. To check, I just hit play and see it play out and then once I realize that it works, I am just going to add one more action which is to close the document so I can just um, press play on every single photo and they will apply all the edits that I've done so far. So by just clicking one button, I can just quickly edit all the photos and they are all done quickly already. So I'm repeating this for all the files and then after that, I'll do the heavier editing. I've also selected a couple of photos that I really want to use them. They are all labeled in red. So I'm just going to open these photos in Photoshop and I'm going to seriously edit them. For this photo, the letter is showing so I'm copy pasting another photo inside and using it to replace that part of the picture. Next I will need to crop the picture and for this photo, I decided on using a square ratio. You can also use a 4-5 crop if you're doing a portrait photo. This is the only portrait ratio that Instagram accepts at the moment. Next, we're going to use the filter liquify tool to push some skin and some fats around depending on what I like because it's my photo. My dress also has an inner dress liner that is quite visible in the photo so I need to stamp that out. By stamping this out, the dress will look a lot more expensive. Also, I am trying to get rid of the wrinkles in the sleeve because those parts seem a bit crumpled. Next, I will fix any skin defects that I want to hide. Then I would duplicate this layer and then for the new layer on top, I would actually make it a lot lighter. So by using this layer, I'm actually creating a lighter pass for my entire body so that the photo can focus more and draw more attention to my figure. The last thing that I want to do is to color correct the painting itself because the painting is most important visual in this picture to me personally so I will always try to make the painting as accurate as possible in terms of color for people who might want to commission or order the product or purchase the painting so it needs to be consistent in terms of lighting and color and I do not mind if it does not gel together with the lighting of the environment at all. It is not too complicated to repeat these steps for the other selected photos so first I will crop them. Cropping takes the longest because there's only one angle and there's only so much I can do to improve the composition. Then I'll do the editing for the painting and make sure the painting is vibrant and strong in color and contrast. I'll liquefy my body in the photo to get a better proportion. 
remember when you are doing liquefy for your body you can sometimes walk the environment like the leaves or towels or the floor you need to restore those areas back using the history brush or else people will be able to tell the difference when they look at your photo and then after that i will edit away all the wrinkles and crumpled um, fabric and also to make it more luxurious and shape the fabric better Sometimes I will intentionally make certain areas darker to better model out the form of the figure. So like here I've made it darker so that I would stand out from the shadow and it made me look slimmer. Finally, I will duplicate the layer to make it brighter and then use this to brighten the figure itself so that I will stand out from the painting. Lastly, check for all the body boo-boos like your bra, things in your teeth, your eyes, your nose or your ears. Just check them and make sure everything is okay before proceeding. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have fun and learned a lot during this very very short video of how I style my photo shoot. And leave a comment if you have any questions. Subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching. Bye!